Hi friends, praise God. So today's gospel reading is from Matthew chapter 17 verses 10 to 13. We will be reflecting on verses 12. I'll read this for you. But I tell you that Elijah has already come and they did not recognize him, but did to them whatever they pleased. So also the Son of Man will certainly suffer at their hands. So my dear friends, from this verse, we understand that even the people like the prophets who did the will of God and who lived holy lives, even they were faced with sufferings and persecutions. When Jesus came to this earth, even Jesus was faced with so many difficult situations. And Jesus always chose to do the right thing. He could have chosen to speak only what the people wanted to hear and be a crowd pleaser. But that's not what he did. And hence he was crucified for no fault of his own. So my dear friends, in our lives as well, when we do good to others and we live holy lives, we are also faced with certain difficulties and we may not always get good in return. And that's when we start to think, is it really worth doing good? Because if I'm getting bad in return, why should I be doing good? But that's when we should really think of all these prophets and Jesus as an example. If they gave up, then they wouldn't be able to accomplish God's plan on this earth. Therefore, we should look at them as an example and follow them and keep doing good. So that being said, it's not actually easy to do good in difficult situations because you need a strong foundation. So you need to have that strong foundation with Jesus through our personal prayer, Bible reading and the Eucharist so that we are strong in these tough times and we will be able to face it just like building a house on rock and not on sand. So when we are faced with storms of life, we will be able to stand strong and face it. So let me give you another example of a potato and egg and coffee beans. So a potato is hard from outside when you see it initially and when it is boiled it becomes soft. So this is like the kind of people who think they are strong and can face any difficulties and situations that come in their lives. But when they are actually faced with these situations they turn out to be weak and are not able to face this situation strong. Looking at the egg. So these, this is initially a sensitive and uh, you know soft but once it is boiled it becomes hard. So these are the kind of people where initially they do good but as they are faced with difficulties they turn out to become hard hearted and they stop doing the good. But when you look at the coffee beans when they are put into hot water they spread a lovely fragrance and we are called to be such coffee beans who spread the word of God the love of God and also live the values of so let me ask you this question is it easy to live a sinful life or is it easy to live a holy life so we all know the answer to that it's easier to live a sinful life because that's what everyone on this earth is doing but we are called to be followers of christ and follow his example and live the values of christ even though it means taking difficult decisions because in the end even though the journey might be difficult but the destination is definitely rewarding so let me tell you a short story about a boy named Tom. So Tom had a lot of friends in school and as he was growing, uh, he went into college and all of his friends began to get into bad habits like smoking, drinking and Tom had two options now. He realized that he has to choose. Either he takes the easy way and follows his friends and tries out everything and gets into these addictions or the tougher way of choosing to stand for what he believes is right. So Tom thought about it and finally he decided to choose the difficult decision and not to be a part of all of this uh, addictions. As time passed, Tom lost a few of his friends but in the end, Jesus blessed him with more friends who were more like him and who followed Christ's values where he could be himself. So my dear friends, to conclude, I would just like to take the scripture of Galatians 2.20 which says, It is no longer I who live but Christ who lives in me. So when you are faced with any confusion in taking any decisions in life, just ask yourself, what would Jesus do in this particular situation? And I'm sure you'll get an answer, which will always be right. Praise God.